welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for coming. If today is your first time here, my name is Janet and thank you so much for coming. Today's video is going to be a very quick one, a very short one. I just hope to make it as short as possible. So, I noticed that in most of my videos, people have been asking me, Sister, can you help me get a job? I've been looking for a job for three years. I've been looking for a job for five years and I can't find a job. So, I'm here to make it clear to you today and to also tell you how to go about in search of job and how to secure your job for as long as you want. So, so please sit back and let's talk about it. So, first of all, I am here to tell you that I'm not an agent, okay? I don't help people to look for work, okay? I was also once like you in search of job, but the process I'm about to tell you now is what I went through before I got my job, okay? The job that I've been doing for over 13 years now. And apart from this job, like I said in my previous video, I've done other jobs, so I'm here to let you know how to go about it. So the first step for you to take if you live here in Italy is please go ahead and prepare your resumes, your curriculum, okay? We call it curriculum here in Italy. Go ahead and prepare that. Making sure that you include all the previous jobs that you've done in Africa or wherever you're coming from. All the previous work experience that you've done in the past, include them in your resume because that is also very, very important when you're going through your resumes, okay? So after your resume is being prepared, make sure you have your documents ready as well, okay? So after you've done this very first step, the second step for you to take is submitting your resumes as in your curriculum to the agency, okay? The agents, okay? The people that help people to search for job. We call them agency here. So go and submit your curriculum to them. And if you are the lucky type, you are going to call you even before one week. Okay, some people, it takes just two, three days and they will call them. Okay, the reason they will call you is for you to have an interview with them. And please don't panic when agency call you for an interview. Okay, they are not going to kill you there. They are just going to ask you for certain, they are just going to ask you some, some questions, okay. And that is why I say you should always know the basic Italian, okay? Because you are going to be communicating with the agency or maybe people from your workplace as well. Basic Italian is very, very important. So after you might have submitted your resume, they will call you for an interview. Go there, don't panic, like I said, and maybe God help you start to work, okay? So these are the two steps when you are looking for a job, preparing your resumes, submitting it, going for an interview. And after these steps have been done, let me tell you how to secure your job, okay? In case if you get one. For you to secure a job for a very long time, like five, seven, eight, ten 10 years in one place, let me tell you things to do because I noticed that in most cases, people tend to take malatia leave even when they are not sick. Okay, so malatia leave is sick leave here in Italy. People tend to take it even when they are not sick. Every slight thing they will say, I'm going on malatia. Okay, and the thing is that our people, they think they are smart, but at the end of the day, you find out that they are not smart, okay? They play smart, but they are, they are not smart. Not knowing that when you are on Malatia here in Italy, you have to stay home. You are not allowed to go anywhere, okay? A lot of people have been sick from work because of this. Because here, when you, when you are sick, on your certificate, it is stated that you are sick. So you are meant to stay at home and not go in anywhere. If you are unlucky, you take sick leave and you go about on your business, they might send people that ins might send, or maybe even your ogre might send someone to come and control you at home. And if, if that day happens to be your unlucky day, and they say that you are not at home, you are either sad, even though they, even if they didn't sack you, you now have a bad record, okay? So please avoid taking sick leave when you are not sick. As you see me, so I don't go on sick leave when I'm not sick. I take what is called Permesso here. Permesso is, I mean, permesso is allowed for everybody, especially if you have children. Okay, just take your permesso. Uh, for example, maybe there is a day I'm going to accompany my son to pediatra, to doctor. I take my permesso. I stay off job that day. Or better still, if the appointment is in the morning, I go to, I follow my son to his appointment in the morning. I come, I go back to work in the afternoon. That is how I do it. Okay, so please take Malatia when you know that you are really sick and make sure that you stay at home as well. That is the first one. The second one is when you get to your workplace, even when others are gossiping, please make sure that you concentrate on your work, okay? Don't compare yourself with the people of the land because when wars come to wars, they will always find job before you, okay? 
don't doubt me that is the real life okay so don't compare yourself with them and avoid gossiping at workplace number three is don't ever go to work late unless maybe something serious happen on the way while going to work okay if you are asked to come to work by 8 a.m in the morning make sure that you are there by 7 55 a.m in the morning okay and not five minutes past eight okay please let them know that they can trust you at workplace that is very very important if or you both person know that they can trust you especially as a black person eh, they can give their life for you that is one thing i've come to find out in this country trust is very very important at workplace if they can trust you if these things are mentioned if you keep them if you put them to practice believe me one day even if your company is going through a lot and need to put some people at home you're not going to be among those people that are going to decide because when they look around they will see that you are a trustworthy somebody and like i said if they know that they can trust you eh, this i mean the sky is your limit if they can trust you at your workplace everything will be at the top for you or just follow all these steps that i'm telling you eh? and you will thank me when you finally find your dream job hmm? try to avoid all these freakish acts when you are working if all these things might not pay you today but it's going to pay you in future so please be your very good self at your workplace put all your effort be your very best believe me the gain is coming later not today when all these things is done in your workplace, you will have no reason to like job in this country. Okay, very soon I'm going to be making another video on the most trending jobs here in Italy, especially for foreigners. So please make sure you watch out for that video coming your way very soon. So please, I beg to stop this video here today. Like I said, it's going to be a very short one. I will see you very soon. So thank you for watching. God bless everyone. Thank you. Subscribe to my channel. Ciao. Ciao. Bye-bye. I'll see you.